um, some parents in my area um, out of compassion allow their children to stay with me so that I will not feel lonely you know there were six of them three boys and three girls now Baba Jesha had challenges and he came to me for help so I tried my best I even I also I registered him in a lesson I he sat for GC and then I tried to get him into Unilag in fact he was enrolled <clears throat> so he came that day he needed more help and I was not going out so I asked the children because uh, three of them are boys there's a place down my street where they play then the uh, two small ones wanted to follow them so my auntie had come to visit me and he was there <coughs> he was there so when she was leaving I had to go downstairs to lock the gate after her I didn't know what happened in the space of three to four minutes but the following week the school called me at a school and see my children what happened he said the the girl sat on the brother's leg and was maybe you know doing her waist somehow they called me they called the uh, parents of the children as well those the parents of the children are strict born again christians me i don't allow them watch cartoon self the cartoon that they watch i must watch it with them but the parents said that maybe it's spiritual so we started praying you know so he warned her not to tell anybody I think he came back the next day to be sure if she told anybody said that he bought food and she should follow him to carry the food in the car for everybody when she got down he used his key again and to defile her again after that day that he came he didn't come to my house again but anytime he needed help he would call me so when I saw the news, people are saying that he has been, you know, molesting her for seven years. They were saying so many things. Why? Finally, he defiled her. He assaulted her. And we just found out. But he never came to our house again. He was dodging me. So when he needed my help, I now called him that, ah, Landry, you need my help. Oh, they joke was silly. I'm, I'm not feeling fine. I, my wife didn't just end it. I don't have money. Why, see? Why to she gave me the moment? He now said that he's sorry. He should sing. So I went. But I noticed that he was avoiding me. I didn't even know why. Then the child started failing in school. Ha! You know? I would collect, pay for private lesson, everything. And when I told my family, they told me we should pray. Maybe it's spiritual. But the parents of the child said that we should keep praying. They kept the children. They called me. Those six children. If those children are with me, God will answer my prayers. Okay. No problem. I kept on saying that something is wrong. This child has changed, you know. Then my family said, I don't have faith. We should be fasting. Even the parents were fasting and praying. They will go to read him because they go to read him. They will go. They will bring um, water. They will pray. But after two years, I said, this thing is not spiritual. Something is wrong. That's how everybody saw we mountain tomorrow. So last year, Shemu, all the children are grown now and they are in boarding house. So 
last year. One of my friends said that since I don't have a child of my own, I should go and adopt a baby because all the six of them are now in body house. So last year, January, I said, okay, let me go and adopt a, a baby so that I will not be the only one at home. So, but I was like, are we not going to go to the root of this problem? You understand? So, on because of Corona, we couldn't do anything. So this last month, I said, that, let me go and adopt the baby. Because school is resuming next month. The children are going back to body house. But maybe we will change her body house again because something is wrong. You know, my friend came here. She was telling me, Princess, you have been saying the same thing for seven years. Yet then tomorrow. And I was telling her, but I never imagined in my life. Because for almost 14 years now, I have been helping children who have been abused and molested. I house them. I, I take care of them. Even women who have domestic violence issues, I house them. I help them. Why? To see my dream in the room by my jealousy. Some people who are not so got here more. Because he's, he's a popular actor. He's a popular actor. Is he bigger than God? Somebody that came to meet me for help. No problem. I know said, let me call him. My friend, now talk to the child again. That's, what is going on? She now told us what happened. I was, I, I was shocked. And I said, okay, let me call Baba Jesha. You know, I went to his page. I wrote Baba Jesha, please check your DM. Because I was trying this number, it was not going. He now sent me a message that Alpha. I said, I want to shoot a movie. He should come. So me and my mom, we said that when he comes there, we will sit him down and ask him, is this thing, is it really true? You know, is it really true? So that day we were waiting for him. When he was on his way, I now remembered what my friend had told me. And my sister, they told me that we should be careful People we want to support Baba Jesha and say that they want to set him up. If you don't have evidence, I called CCTV company to come. They came. They set camera. When they came here, I told them it's a matter of life and death. They set camera. They set the camera. We asked everybody in the house to go out and stay in anybody's house that she was afraid we said she should calm down because she did not see him again since that seven years she didn't see him until she saw him in a movie that we did together with one mama like that two years ago she saw me in that movie and him she started doing some even her brothers they're asking her what, what happened she couldn't say it until she told us so they now put the cctv he came in. As he came in, he saw that there was nobody at home. I told him that I want to see those people. I told him, he asked me who are these people. I said that are DSTV people. I want to see them off. I will, that when I go now, I will stay long. He should relax. He said, okay. I, I dropped my phone. I said, my phone is here. Then I, I went out. We locked the door. Two seconds, he, start, he stood up, begin to check my whole house. He checked every room to make sure none of the children are sleeping. Kema wopi en yon she buru. O wobo bo inu lekbe. O fe wa sure. So that he will be sure that no, none of the children is inside sleeping. He checked the whole house for camera. He checked the whole house. Then he started. I can't even begin to relay the things that he did. I was shaking because we were monitoring it on the phone. But at the point, when she stood up to go to the kitchen, I would know that there is no 
there's no there's there's no camera in the kitchen the people came in they called police police came immediately the picking i asked him larry kid mushefwe kid mushefwe to you mo pe mi obi mo mi obi mo awon mo yi o de wa ku awon mo yi si mi lo do ki baba ba rodu o de se ru ko bayi fun mi kid mushefwe he said he's the devil that me i am his benefactor but the devil was the he was just talking rubbish so i asked him what happened seven years ago he told me he was just begging me begging me they took him away every day we go to the police station for money till night <laughs> and mama will be machine feel <laughs> some of you are not saying if you post the video of the child <laughs> that was being like, kill it again what do you want to kill even if you hate me even if you don't like me as a person how can you but when you say so don't you want to so me get a be more big but you want to so but you want to so some people were even calling me trying to threaten me Why? Why? Omo ni ni Oluwa. Omo inu de ni re. Bi o fa ti lo wa la gba be lo mo de mi. Children are the heritage of God. Nobody is allowed to molest them. It's not fair. Please. Mo fi o lo ba be yi. Even if you don't like me. Even if you don't like me. Stop it. Stop saying all the rubbish that's it. The police have started their investigation. He confessed four different times. Kilefe, why do you want to see a child? Why do you need to see a child being molested? Why? 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 Ibrahim will like me. I be awon mo wa o se fun. Awon mo wa o se mo. E wo mi o ni koko. Mi o ni koko ju awon ye lo. E bu mo fe gbe te mi papa. Jo, please. O ti tu. If you believe Jo. If you believe that I'm lying. Why don't you wish it on your children or go and see me back here and ask him? Please, sorry that I'm crying. No, it's just that the pain is too much. Please. The other reason I did this video, which is even the main reason, is when this thing happened. The child has been failing so many things, and I'm the one that has been insisting that something is wrong. Even when everybody said I oh, should pray, I'm the one that has been insisting because, like I told you, he never came to my house again since that time. But I kept on insisting because something in me said, "What is wrong? the child was failing woefully? She was acting strange. Even her brothers, they they couldn't play with her." Do you get? Please, don't be afraid. If you know that Ijesha has molested your child before now, or your friend or your neighbor, if you can't come out, dear me. If you know that he has molested anyone you know. before comma and me i'm so careful i don't even allow visitors to come near when my children are around i don't okay i won't cry so please parents don't trust anybody don't trust anybody me 
I've always been paranoid. I didn't trust anybody. Just four minutes, three or four minutes for me to go down and open the gate for my auntie to go King Silekut and climb up. Within the space of that time, see the damage he did. It's not fair. It is not fair. Please stop spreading news that he molested her for seven years. It's not possible. Simu Walaye. Anybody that is close to me will tell you. People have brought their children from outside Lagos to live with me. Adults who have domestic violence issues have come to my house to live with me. Not one, not to enjoy. If I'm not a careful Person, if I'm not, if I'm not, more because I lost, don't make me a fool. I make a concern. Will I be insisting for seven years? I kept on saying, but my family is up with ten more. They said I'm insisting too much. So be a Christian, just pray and leave it to God. I said, it's not spiritual. Only today, like, if you like, insult me. Cause you to call me. You go to my money, me. Allah will kiss you. me. 14 good years. The most important thing is 14. Me will go all over anybody. One day, one, one lost his school. Me will pay anybody. But what is paining me is their parents. One fear of my revelation. They gave those children to me. Hello, mommy. This is the Sayo. You don't believe that? Hello. You can do as you like. It's not possible. If you have been assaulted by Olari Oju James Ominka, aka Baba Ijesha, and you can't come out, DM me. Let me tell you, the police are still investigating, you know, but they are on it. Every day I go there. Every day, and every day I go there, he sees me and he will tell me he's sorry. He's sorry. He, he has never done it except to that child. That's the only child he has ever raped. Baola Shefemo, are we sure? So if you are there and he has done anything of such to your child, don't hide. DM me. DM me or come to Pansy Police Station. Don't go to any police station. Go to Pansy and ask for OC gender. And tell them, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. If you people like threaten me, get threaten me. Even if I die, justice will still be saved. Even if I die, if you people go and lay a bush for me, go say to come. But justice will be saved. Justice will be saved. If you have ever been abused by Larry Wachu Ominka, aka Baba Jesha, come out. If you can't come out, DM me. If you have ever been abused by anyone else and you are afraid, DM me. No child deserves to be molested. No adults. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.